if you want to deal with Morgana, despite not having too many issues against it in the last game, but they simply want to make sure they can always engage onto Fnatic. There's not the Black Shield to worry about. But Lulu ban wants a game from Fnatic against Ryu there. It was originally played in Korea, I think it's safe to say. Even Alexic said himself, said, I played it first in Europe on the screen because we're a patch ahead of them, <laughs> but even though they were already playing it. Ziggs also being taken away, that's going from Peke. And it is a champion he's gone pretty heavy into. We're not seeing the Kazakh spine yet, so maybe they feel they can counter it. But this time around, you said it in the last game, it seems sometimes that the red team have that slight advantage because they get the double pick. KTB, they have the choice of what they want to go with. Will it be the Kazakhs? It seems they will. That's what Insect works so well with. Now, Renekton is open for Source if he wants to have a very dominant top laner. It will be outscaled, and we have seen how KT Bullets deal with it, constantly ganking it, even diving it. But I actually love the fact they pick Sivir here. So they don't want to deal with this very annoying Sivir ultimate to be engaged on or even disengaged with. So now they have it. And with Renekton up in this top lane, if Sinai can apply a lot of pressure there, dive on to Leopard, kill him a lot of times, Fnatic will be able to get ahead. And then once you get to team fights in the mid game, they will be very strong just with the first two picks. What well, is that going to leave open now, though, for the KT Bullets? Currently sat with Lee Sin and LeBlanc, which whether that Lee Sin then goes into a lane or it goes in the jungle and Kazix moves into a lane, we'll have to see if they end up, well, of course, locking that one in. But Ryu probably is going to end up with this LeBlanc. Yeah, despite him having some issues in the laning phase against Peke in the last game, it simply boiled down to the fact that he went top, he failed his dive, and then he fell behind to Peke, 20 CS, and also Peke got his Affines before him. He's very, very strong in the bunk player. We see it. We saw it in one of the very important team fights where he's catching out Reckless, just instantly killing him. And I like the fact he picks it up again, because it gives them the same kind of team fight when you have Kha'Zix and LeBlanc, where you can just Spread out everything and just focus on single target damage whenever someone is out of position. Oh, surprise, surprise. Sivir was taken for Fnatic, which means it will be Lucian for KT Bullet. Score the Immortal in that last game. Did not die. 7 0 5. We'll see how it works out with Lucian. Of course, Ryu was insta popping Reckless last time around, so that spell shield may well be vital against this LeBlanc. Yeah, and Fnatic needs to be careful at this moment. They're not picking a combo which relies only on mid-game power, because the last combo they played was very strong in the mid-game, and it didn't use the advantage in their favor. KTB already have Kha'Zix, obviously, in the late game. We see how annoying it is to deal with. We have Lucian who scales really well, and of course, the LeBlanc going into late game. Then will fall off. Damage on Sivir is good all around, but she won't have the same amount of impact, and let's say Lucian, when it comes to straight up instant burst. Well, it looks like Fnatic gonna stick with that Gragas, as we mentioned. Peke farmed up a storm, had 100 CS more than Ryu for a lot of that game, and also locking in the Annie support here for Yellowstar. So we have Annie here. Obviously, two supports were banned away from KT Bullet's side, so Annie is a very good pickup for them. They don't actually lose anything, because you have Hard Engage now, combined with the On The Hunt from Sivir, so you can start the fights. Fnatic are in a position here to set things up, get vision control, and then catch out KT Bullets instead of the other way around. Karma coming out. We did see KT Bullets running Karma for Mafa yesterday. That was the mid lane battle for against Gambit. They 2v1'd out Alex Hitch and it worked wonders. Will they try something similar? A little flick towards Draven and Rise. This is something we've talked about. Leopard playing that Rise in that top lane. We talked about this in the day one. It is a bit of a risky pick, however, against Renekton, because he can actually dash towards you. The thing about Ryze in the 4.3 patch is obviously your Q is having longer range now, so it's actually longer than your W, so you can Q, run forward, W them, run backwards and Q them once again. It's a very safe trade, it's very hard to get to you, unless you have double dash, which Renekton does. And also unless you have very good early game damage, Renekton have it. Fnatic here, if they can manage to push down this Ryze early on and just dive him, there's nothing he can do to respond unless Insect is permanently sitting in the top lane to help him out. Well, let's see if that's what they go for. Fnatic looking now for a jungler for Cyanide. What are they going to end up with on this one? And be interested to see something like Aatrox coming out again, for example, for Cyanide. Did really well with it in Worlds. We've seen it sporadically, I think is the right way to say, it, in the top lane. With the combo they have here, if they pick something like a Pantheon, they have so much early game aggression, they can actually just try and snowball the game, try and get some early kills, and you can always dive with Pantheon, Sky falling in, and they actually do log it in, so I like this. Full-on early mid-game focus from Fnatic, if it goes to late game.
against the rise. He scales so well. You have the Karma to provide utility for KT bullets to disengage from this on the hunt from Sivir here. And of course, Insect, we see him on Kha'Zix and the LeBlanc. My worry is for this one, Insect's been counter jungling so heavily. What's going to happen when he finds Pantheon in that jungle? You won't be able to counter jungle if your lanes are being pushed to their turrets. Well, that's true, if they can do that. Exactly. But that's the thing, they have to do it. They pick a combo saying, we're going to win We're gonna win the laning phase, we're going to win the early game, we're going to get a good lead, and then simply give you absolutely no chance to do anything for a comeback, because every single time you move out of your base, we have the Grand Skyfall to engage, we have Tibbers to engage, and of course we have the On the Hunt from Sivir. So full-on aggressive combo from Fnatic. It has to pay off early on, though. Have to get off to a strong start here in Fnatic. Now, losing this one would, of course, put the KT Bullets on game point. They'd have another three games to pick up just the one that they need. And, well, if it wasn't hard to beat them anyway uh, for Fnatic, then winning three games in a row to have a chance of coming back in the tournament would certainly be very, very difficult for them. I have to say, I mean, Fnatic did look good at the start of that last one. They weren't able to keep that hold, uh, keep a hold on the lead. And the Bullets are a team that if you make one little mistake or you don't push when you've got that advantage, they'll quite happily take it off you and push through. And let's see if KG Bullets decide to actually lane swap here to avoid having Rice laning up against this Renekton. It will, of course, Rice in a lane swap, it's not ideal. It's very hard to farm, actually, and again, you're very, very easy to dive. So where they decide to place him, I'm not too sure, but we will like to see how he can handle himself if he goes either 1v2 or 1 versus 1. So here we go, then, in-game for match number two between the KT Rollster Bullets and Fnatic. The scoreline 1-0 to the Bullets. Can they make it two here, or will Fnatic bounce back in our best-of-five grand final? In game number one, at the early stages we did see the bullets actually stacking up down on the bottom side trying to get in for something see if they go for anything similar this time around spelthy sevge being picked up by mafa this time around of course he's going to have that long range poke will be much longer if he's against yellowstar and this is a big if because they have rotated but i think this time around it's going to be a straight up 2v2 fight look at insect's position now look how far down the bottom lane he is he's maybe thinking of going for yellowstar here and he's actually been doing this before, where he then runs off together with Karma and Lucian into this bush and try and force an early flash for whoever is camping in there. And Yellowstar, he needs to be careful, because if they're actually going towards him, he will need to flash. Well, he sits there for now, doing circles in the brush, waiting to spot anyone coming his way. And there is Insect, just getting up to the corner. So he's within. Striking distance as they Ooh. are going to get the poke down. He has to flash. There is a flash burn from Yellow Star. Mission successful from the KT Bullets. It was all they wanted with this one, unless, of course, Yellow Star was sleeping in there to actually get a kill to him. But just getting the early flash, it also means for Insect here, he can, after he's getting his double buff, go towards this bot lane, and it's a very easy gank for him if Yellow Star is overextended. So he needs to be play very careful, and that's an issue for Fnatic because they want to make sure that they don't fall behind in XP early on. Keep your eyes peeled on that one. Almost certainly will be a gank, and Insect will definitely want to try and take that one. He's been looking as he hits level three for those ganks multiple times in this tournament so far. It's going to be a red buff start for both junglers, Cyanide and Insect. We'll see where they go from here. Interesting start for me, of course, Leopard. Because he's on rise, he has started out with that mana crystal. And I'm very interested to see how he handles Renekton early on because, in my mind, Renekton should have the advantage. Unless, of course, Ryze can get a lot of good poke then when the dash is down from Soas. But that's pretty much the only time where he's safe. And we actually also, also see the Dorn's blade start. So Soas, he wants to be aggressive. Method already putting some good damage down there on towards Soas, though. And this one's something he's going to have to keep going with. But but Soaz doesn't just dive in, as you said, right on top of him. Meanwhile, Insect, he's now on the top side of his jungle doing the blue buff. Cyanide doing the same over the other side with his uh, the best Pantheon skin because he's got his Speedos on. But here, <laughs> notice how Leopard are playing the lane early on. Then there was no dash on the source. He just harassed him constantly again and again. Got him so low. And due to Dawn's played and only one potion, the amount of sustain from source is actually not enough to get up high enough on HP so he can really duel Leopard. And Leopard's playing this one 
very, very well. So is not able to get in, not able to get those attacks. And Insect's going to try and capitalize on this one. He's coming around. There's no ward in the tri bush, which is where he's headed. So as not allowing himself to get poked down any more than necessary. But Insect is going to come and play a visit. It's going to be a quick fleeting call as well. He's going to jump in. He does get the claw and the rocket combo on towards him. Nice combo. That forces Soas away. Yeah, absolutely perfect for Katie Boyles here in the start, giving the early lead to Rice. Leopard played it so well at level one, constantly hitting Source again and again, gave him no chance to actually get close to the minions. So I love the way he played it. And with the early gank, Source was forced now to base, and he's going to return in, and he didn't get anything but a health potion. And Insect coming straight down towards this bottom lane. And actually did get the Void Spikes on towards Peke, not really that much damage, and he's going to go back into his farming pattern, starting with the Wraiths. And remember how this farming pattern went between Peke and Ryu early on. Cyanide is paying a visit this time around. They want to try and blow something in Ryu's arsenal. He may well not get close enough to jump on towards him. But more importantly, Insect has been jumping in there, and of course we saw Peke. He got the dominant but domination over Ryu early on last time around, but look at that combo. It seems to be working out well. It's an identical match, mirror match to what we saw last game. Mirror match, how can you call it that really? Same match as last time around. But of course, Peke came out on top, so I feel Insect may start visiting that mid lane a lot more. Well, as long as Ryu doesn't go up top lane and actually fails his dive, he should be okay <laughs> in this lane. It's what happened last time. He was doing very, very good in the lane, actually. He was keeping up on farm, had some good poke onto Peke until the roam came in. Now, let's see now, Insect has burnt through all of his pots from the jungle and will be by the wraiths, uh, sorry, by the wolves. So we'll see if he goes in towards that mid lane or where he's going to go after that one. And so as he going to get caught up. Actually, Leopard forced to flash there. He spot Pantheon coming out behind him as well. Yeah, he didn't want to risk anything. He's only having the tier early on, so he's very, very squishy, of course. And as soon as we see the double dash in from Source, we see the potential they have. And when they get the level 6 mark, especially on Pantheon, he will always be able to jump in. Lane shoved up there. Not too sure those Heartseekers were quite welcomed by Soaz as he punches to push the wave and lose about 3 CS. As it stands, this mid lane combo. Yellowstar going for a roam here because his AD carry had backed off there, so helping to maybe try and shove that wave in towards the tower, try and force Ryu to try and miss some of that CS. You can see they're going to keep on pressuring, that's going to buy time for Peke, who's out of mana to back off. And the only issue about this is the fact that Ryu is actually, or should be getting level 6 by clearing this wave for at least a few minutes from the next, where Peke is now recalling, he's only level 5, so once he returns, Ryu will be slightly ahead in XP, but hopefully it doesn't really matter anything for Fnatic. Charlie's was purchased there by XPK as he comes back in towards the lane with health and mana pots as well as a ward on top of that crystalline flash from earlier. And never mind actually because Ryu decided to recall he's only level 5 so both will return the same level. He does have a good CS advantage starting to build though which is very impressive. Also score winning out that lane and Leopard you could argue winning out this top lane despite the fact he's had his flash blown which is Danger signs when you've talked about Fnatic's opening setup, they really need to try and bully out these lanes. Leopard does get a good bit of damage on him from Soaz, and again, Cyanide Pain of Visit, as is Insect. This could be the double junglers, this could be the first blue we're looking for. Leopard sticking to the back, actually did just throw the ward down mm. to get that vision. Soaz doing exactly the same, there is a slow, but Soaz just dashes away. Already got out of range, and Insect knows that he can't get anything from that lane. And notice how Sanad was actually also down to 70% HP, so if a fight had broken out, it could have been very scary for Fnatic here. And he's still in the bush, but he's recalling, so nothing happening yet. I think we need to see the level 6 point from Pantheon before we get the real gank. Both these mid laners have hit level 6, so we'll see whether there's any explosive exchanges between these two. Of course, Peke did actually blow a LeBlanc in towards his tower. I believe it was Peke that did it earlier on in the tournament. To get the better of him. Does land that barrel on towards Rio. Rio tries to dash it and get that exchange, but doesn't manage to get his combo on towards Peke. Peke not going to belly slam into this one, not getting baited anything to something ridiculous, but the advantage for scoring this bottom lane continues to just be 10 CS. And now one thing we always have to remember with Karma is at the level 6 point, she doesn't actually gain anything, where Annie, of course, will get her tibbers. So once we have level 6 onto Fnatic side, the tides should actually turn and they should be more aggressive towards this bottom lane. Yep, Rectus actually just went ridiculously though there. And you can see Hello Star having to move forward and get the stuns off to help things out. There is level 6 for Insect, and he's going to make his first presence known down towards his bottom lane. 
Well, the call may be coming out. Mid lane was movement from Ryu to make a move towards his bottom lane. He didn't go. Insect has not in towards his pushes. Unseen, though. And he is going to force Fnatic back. And this actually may be the first push on the tower. Yellowstar's all on his own there. Cyanide just waiting off at the sides. It's going to be a three man push on the tower. They know the AD carry is not there. Well, Cyanide's going to have to come in and try and play defensive. And there's Kipo coming down. That's always going to be the danger of the Karma. Yellow Star, will he be able to stick around? That minion wave has now been blown out as Peke gets silenced up once again. Ryu in a healthier position than in there. Got more mana still to be playing with. Peke having to burn through those potions and the Crystalline Flask. Yeah, Ryu is doing a very good job dodging out on the bells, but Insect, he's going towards this blue buff here. Sanad, will we actually spot him? Yeah, they warded each other out. They saw it before he was... In there, Peke has got explosive cask available. Like you said, he was actually burning through quite a lot of mana trying to get that poke onto Rio. And Rio was doing a very good job of spotting it and dodging it. Insect still laying in wait. We see him do this so, so often, hoping that he can catch Peke out on the rotation. Cyanide is not starting off that blue buff, though, because he knows it's warded. And let's see actually how Mafia decides to build this time. Last time he played Karma, he went for early magic penetration boots, combined with obviously spell thief. So he had a lot of early game damage, and we've been seeing him hit, landing his Qs, putting on a lot of pressure to Fnatic side. But we do have tables now on Annie, so let's see if they actually decide to gank this bottom lane with the Grand Skyfall from Cyanide. Reckless did just take a fair bit of poke, and there's Insect. He's AFK. Always lies in wait in the enemy's jungle. Actually, he's going to pop his ultimate here. Cyanide is going to get a lot of that damage blocked out. Ryu starting to come across as well. Can they finish it off? Ryu is going to dive in there. Flash was used. Insect gets first blood. Oh. Barrel comes out. And that was flashed away from nicely in the end by Insect. And the explosive cast was burned, which means they can go for the blue buff if they need to. And, you know, Insect waited there for, what, 30, 40 seconds for that one, and it was worth it. But they do get the blue buff because Yellowstar, he had to pace as well, and meanwhile in the top, so was in big trouble. I don't know about a leopard, he needs to run like a cheetah to find Soaz there from that one. Did get good damage onto him, though, forced the Dominus to be used. Fnatic lose out on their blue buff. Ah, oh, the KT Bullet's going to think about Dragon here. No, they're not. And it was such a trademark move from Insect, just waiting for someone to come and pick it. Body slamming in. He is, I'm not sure he's got the damage there, but here's a man drop down the bottom, they're going to go on towards score, doesn't have any mana, he's not going to be able to escape this one, actually flashes in Ooh. front, oh, dash, a dot, uh, dashes in front of the boomerang, that didn't keep him alive though, Mafia will speed himself up and get back onto his turret, a one for zero. Yeah, we see the very first gang from Cyanide with the Grand Skyfall here, good use, they pick up a kill, onto Reckless, they're really a guy they want to get going early on, he's been absolutely fantastic in this tournament, with this early kill, he should be able to regain some advantage here because he has been falling behind in CS. Yeah, not the Immortal this time around, unfortunately. Mafa gets stunned out by Yellowstar. There's a lot of damage put on towards that bottom turret, but let's not forget, KT Bullets have already taken the bottom turret down. They've taken the blue buff, and they are already beginning some great rotations, some great ganks, and again, it's Insect leading the charge every step of the way. Now we see him, he's heading towards that top lane. We already saw Soaz having to burn out that Dominus. It's not available for around about 10 seconds time. And maybe that's what Insect's going to try and play on. And remember, he is actually spotted out here. Will this still go for the dive? There's no ultimate onto Soaz. Uh, it does have his flash though available to him if need be. And actually, we'll just be able to dodge straight on through with a slice and dice. Did have to use his flash. And this is scary for Fnatic. They are the ones with the early game combo. They are the ones who need to win here in the early mid game. KT Bullets, this rise, if he can continue farming like he's doing now, he will scale into the late game and become an absolute monster. So it's a big issue for Fnatic that they haven't shut him down yet. We're waiting to see where they're going to go with this one. Catalyst being picked up by Leopard. He's pretty much got his build well underway. That man is going to be stacking out there. Peke. Just returns to lane. He's going to get a wee bit of poke from Ryu there. And maybe, just maybe, the Dragon is next on the minds of KT Bullets. It seems that he's not going to be involving Leopard because he's returning towards that top lane, but the rest of the Bullets are making plays and making moves with those wards to try and go for that Dragon. And look at this. KT Bullets didn't actually clear the blue buff, so it's not going to respawn at all. If they go in here and do it, they will get the timer. And it's so smart because if they can delay Blue Buff onto Peke, it's going to be even harder for him to just continue farming and wave clearing. But Leopard once again in the top lane. Gotten in on towards Soas, down to half HP. But look at the damage back. Leopard forced to flash away. He oh. does get a snare down. But look at the minions doing all that damage. Another round comes in. Can he finish? Yes, he can. Wow. He 
move into Melorex for the Dragon Fight. Dragon Fight is going, is the Dragon picked up by Fnatic, it's been a double kill by Peke. My god, is this all suddenly turning in their favor. Yellow Star's continuing to chase up towards Ryu, he will get away from this one. That was three kills in a matter of seconds, which turned the fight on its head with the Dragon. Suddenly Fnatic have a gold advantage. And of course, Sana, he gets the Dragon here, and everything was so perfect. Look at this fight here. Four members from KT Boris, they are inside around this Dragon Pit and we see the Grand Skyfall coming in. Rest of Fnatic coming in, joining in with Sinat and Ryu in the mid lane. Oh, Yellowstar gets it with the Panda. Now he's going to try and run away from this one. He should be safe from that tower. Wow, just a quick turn and snowball on KT Bullets. Just as we said, the Fnatic needs to step up this early game. Everything just worked out for them. Picked up kills after kills. Leopard, he went into melee range of Source of top lane. He got too greedy. Source turned it around, got the kill. Down then towards the Dragon. Grand Skyfall in. They punished KT Bullets for starting it, despite having four members from Fnatic there. And everything was just so perfect for them. Cyanide, hard to uh, say anything, but he's been on point so far here with that Pantheon. The Grand Sky Falls that he's used have resulted in kills both times here for the Fnatic lineup. They're now one and a half thousand gold in the lead. Yeah, keep in mind, he's Grand Sky falling in, he lands onto the dragon and just smites it, steals it away from Insect, and then Fnatic comes in and everything. If they, can, if they can continue this pressure here, now they have the lead. They will be able to just at least try and roll over KT Bullets. I wonder whether Leopard simply just got caught out by the surprise that uh, Hex Drinker obviously being picked up by Soaz. He suddenly thought, I've got him, I've got him. Oh, wait a minute, there's a giant shield. And Soaz, of course, with that Ignite, suddenly gets that big hit on him. Turned it around so nicely. Fnatic trying to rotate, trying to put pressure on this mid lane turret. Not going to work out. He simply just went into melee range of Source. That was a big issue. So he could land a stun onto him and just return all the damage. And as soon as the dash was up again, he caught onto him and actually picked up the kill. He is still slightly behind in CS though. So we need to keep this in mind. See how that one all develops further. If we look down, some of the other items that come in from this one. Pickaxe, Vamp Scepter is what Reckless has. On the other side though, the Bloodthirster already done. Reckless is recalling and he's got 1700 gold to spend here. So uh, he's going to be able to pick himself up at least that BF sword in there as well. So not too far behind on that front score. Doing a good job. And there's the man drop coming in towards Leopard. They're going to go underneath his turret. In fact, Leopard has gone away from turret range. And that's an easy kill for Fnatic. And there we go, Fnatic with oh. Yellowstar. Oh, just out of position there, Yellow Star. I didn't think, realizing that the KT bullets would start to group in. Score is actually going to keep chasing here with Ryu. There is a flash around. Can they get the damage down? They turn around up towards Ryu. He actually going really low. Cyanide is low. There is a kill. So as he's oh. going towards Ryu, can he get him no. before he dies? No, he can't. Slippery the blunt, and that will be a three for one. So KT bullets, they managed to turn around. They expected to dive from Cyanide. So multiple members were already moving there. It was a good dive, however, because it's how you need to deal with Rice. And look at that. So they got baited nicely in that one. No doubt about it. Yellowstar caught out. He actually got in that tri bush before they went for the kill. He was trying to get involved. They have left uh, Reckless open in that mid lane who has taken down the turret. Of course, the top lane will be going down to score and Maffa. And this game is opening up across the map. Ward control is next. What they're going to have to start fighting for. Insect trying to get a little bit of poke on Yellowstar, who seems to be the sacrificial lamb every time these fights begin. He's really fighting tooth and nail for that pink ward. He gets it. Good job. Good <laughs> job, Yellowstar. And I think while getting back into the jungle, and again, man drop, which results in a kill. Suddenly for them, the bullets were ready for it that time around. They're already moving up towards that top lane. And Getting three kills back for it. So, what comes next in this game? Yellow Star surely going to get himself a few more wards down on the map. Does have that sight stone now to make things a little easier. I can't believe the dragons within two minutes already. It, <laughs> that seems to have come around very quick since that last fight. The last four minutes have certainly gone a little bit haywire, and the slow, methodical, tactical play of KT Bullets is maybe just maybe being pressured a little bit by Fnatic but as you mentioned earlier on it is a, this is the time where Fnatic need to be shining they need to start making their plays here so they have to start trying to pick up some kills on KT Bullets and start trying to push those towers yeah this very next dragon fight is going to be so important because Fnatic with their combo they need to win it to extend their lead and then to continue putting pressure on them and Sana going on Insect putting some good damage down blocks a lot of the damage the Insect throws back his way here comes Peke around the corner they've lost track of him though but there's a ward he's so uh, sneaky uh, yeah didn't actually even get spotted 
Rod's going through the water. He was waiting and score. He's going to take down Renekton up on the top side. And that is three on one. Never going to escape it. So Source was actually deep inside the jungle of KT Boyle. So they collapsed onto him with three members. While Insect was keeping the rest of Fnatic busy with his constant cutting rounds. Look at here. Source was actually coming inside from the jungle. Just simply being caught out. And then three members collapsed onto him. With the snare and obviously with the rune press and farm leopard. It's a lot of CC. That's the second time Soas has been baited by KT Bullets. He seems to be taking a hook, line and sinker every time they dangle that juicy support or a juicy low target. He's got to realize that they're not so stupid to get caught out. They are ready and waiting. Blue Buff has finally spawned here. And we do see Rio. He's just laying in the side. There's a ward just to the right of him. Oh, instead he's going to find Yellow Star. Pop. No problem there. And Leopard is recalling here in the top lane. He can run from base up to Dragon in case he needs to join in for the fight here because the Dragon have just spawned. And one thing we need to remember, he's having the tier. It's already around 500 mana because obviously, again, in 4.3, you get one mana every eight seconds. It's the buff to it. It's going very, very good for him early on. Very strong stuff as we see the KT bullets pushing up towards the turret. Here comes the man drop once again. Ultimate pop by Reckless as well. Barrel lock oh. score back in. Perfectly executed by Fnatic there. Yeah, there's no doubt about that one. Oh, the Sinai just got straight in, and Insect goes aggressive. He gets caught with the base slam, but is it going to be enough? Flash burn by Peke there. And again, Fnatic, they think they've got something. They try and go a little bit too aggressive. The Dragon is being started off. Remember that explosive cast is down. The Sinai is down, so there's not a lot to steal it. Fnatic, they're just going to try and push a tower instead. They can't go for this Dragon now. No, there's only one ultimate. That is the tippers from Annie ready for them. Everything else is gone. And KT Bulls, you're just staying in this area, waiting for Fnatic to face check them. Oh, Insect actually getting stunned up here. So as gonna go into him and again uses that ultimate to back away, even turns in and puts some more damage down, and uses another skill charge, and he's able to just walk away from that one. But he holds his position down there by that dragon and Fnatic basically have to face check if they're gonna come through into that bottom side of the river. Insect continues to be a pest in his lane. There is a pink ward in that bush, which is why they know exactly his position. They try and take him down. Do get that ward out, and KT Bullets didn't go for that dragon. They felt it was a little bit of a dangerous play, and now everything almost available for, for Fnatic. They don't have the Grand Skyfall, but that's about all explosive. Cask is back off cooldown. And we need to remember there's no ultimate from Insect here. In case a fight should break out, he won't be able to pop his stealth and kite around. He will be the focus target if he jumps into the base, and he's actually starting the dragon here. Fnatic don't have any vision in this area here, so they're out of position. Well, and with Storm now there as well, this one is going to go down very, very quickly and no challenge whatsoever there from Fnatic. And that puts the KT Bullets ahead in this game, albeit by just a 200 gold lead. So due to the fact we had all these kills going back and forth, KT Bullets, they remain in control of the Dragon area, so they had the better vision and picked up the Dragon. They're not trying to siege on this turret, but again, very good wave clear once again for Fnatic with both Sivir and Gragas. Great poke on towards Yellowstar there. Just proving that KT Bullets have the tactical prowess to cause Fnatic problems, despite the fact this should be Fnatic's time to shine. KT Bullets are completely countering that with a couple of moves, and it's again, it's Insect on the Kazakhs, trying to flank around the side, trying to get around the back lines. We just saw him evolve the wings, he's going to jump for Peke. Yellow Star, in fact. Well, it's probably going to get this oh. one as well, especially now since you coming in. Insect not going to get slowed down. Barrel comes in. He is going to stamp away, but not away enough. Soaz is going to get that kill. Now Rio be chased down. Have they got the damage? Not quite. Rio's Mimic there off to the side. Fnatic not silly enough to chase that one, but they may have a good push onto this inner tower now. That's a very strong disengage with the Karma support here, but Fnatic can continue this pressure. The mini wave is gone, though. Let's see. They get a blue buff at least. Maybe the commentator's curse there I put on towards it. <laughs> Apologies for that, Korean fans. It seems that Peke will get the blue buff out of that one, though. So, 8-7 in kills. Pretty much still carnage on the map. 22 minutes into this game. Last one lasted for just shy of 56 minutes and was very much back and forth action. And this game, well, it doesn't look to be going any different. And look again, Fnatic, they know they have the combo to win the mid-game. So they've been picking up four sweeping lenses because they want to deny vision from KT Boyle so they can set up the fight, catch them out of their... simply just catch them out of position. They don't have any deep wards though inside the area of KT Bulls because they had never had a chance to actually move in there. And look at the builds as well, actually. So as he's gone 
pretty heavy in terms of damage there. Ravenous Hydra along with that Hex Drinker at this point. Cyanide the one that's going a little tankier. Yeah, so with this very tanky, oh, sorry, with DPS focus, Renekton, it's going to be hard for him when he actually goes in the fight because he's going to be trying at least to go towards the back line here of KT Bulls, but all of their members are actually fairly squishy. So if he catches on to them, he will have a lot of damage to them. However, if not, then he's very easy for them actually to take down, especially late game, once we see some more items onto someone like LeBlanc. Fnatic getting a little poke on towards them. They have maybe got Yellow Star in there. Going to get the stun and a little combo on towards Insect, but we've not got a lot of damage to back it up just yet. PT bullets are going to sweep out and clear their jungle. Fnatic trying to create some pressure here. They're really trying to push in towards KT Bullets' lower half of the jungle. Yeah, notice what they have done here. Now they got the wards inside the jungle here. They simply went in with everyone and forced KT Bullets to play a little bit more passive so they can get up the wards. The sweeping lenses, however, didn't actually clear anything yet. And, and there we go. Moving. Yeah, keep moving forward. There's the lens. Another ward put in position and another sweep off towards the side. Not quite in range on the one just next to it there. A bit unfortunate for them, but nonetheless used up. And is that blue buff going to go over towards Peke? He, of course, stole the bullets as blue buff, and he's just going to get a simple refresh by taking his own. Yes, so as he's about to head off towards that top, he's going to get himself some farm. Just questions whether he did pass a ward, which just timed out for KT Bullets, so he's actually got himself up there all unseen. Leopard is maybe going to challenge him. He's going to ward out the barren area, River. So he has got complete coverage. He knows whether he's going to be facing multiple members of Fnatic and he's going to get himself some nice clear wave in that top area. Gragas, well, Peke is going to be doing the same thing down that bottom half. So we are all returning to a slower lane phase, which does make, give us a little bit of time to check out those items because we're starting to see the AD carries pick up some big numbers. Trinity Force, oh, Yellow Star caught once again. And well, this is this is how you farm as an as a mid laner. You just keep on picking on that poor support who's got next to no defenses, and every time he gets his assist, which he hasn't got actually, he got a kill a while ago. He keeps that gold winning. He keeps getting a little bit of farm. Yeah, credit to KT Bullets have been better this game and keeping up the vision control. So they constantly spot Fnatic moving around. That's also why they can take these kills onto Yellow Star. The poor Annie just trying to get some more vision for her team, and instead she just ends up dying to LeBlanc again. Another death for Yellow Star. 2 3 0 for him there. Has, in fact, got himself those mobility boots and also getting his flash up. <laughs> Whether that's to flash tippers or to actually flash away from the traps that he keeps running into, although he doesn't survive Rio's burst at this stage of the things. And you now Void Staff in there with that Fiend's Unholy Grail for Ryu. That damage is only going to be getting worse. Other side though, Peke does now have his Rabadon's Death Cap finish. There's a Phantom Dancer in there for Reckless as well as the Trinity Force on the other side for Lucian. And the tier is now fully stacked for Leopard on the rise. So he's been having, despite dying, actually been getting the early items he needed to stack up here. His Rod of Aegeus is almost fully stacked as well. So it's looking good for him. And that's the issue for Fnatic here because this Rise late game is going to be so hard to kill. If he's stacking some armor here, it's going to be Cyanide and Renekton going towards him, and they won't have enough damage once he's having a Frozen Heart, for instance. 22 seconds on that Dragon. Will be the next focus this time around. Will we see a fight up towards it? Or will Fnatic once again get picked off by KT Bullets, which they do so, so well. They just seem to just catch themselves out. They got vision on uh, Ryu down that bottom lane, so they know that he's going to be heading up that river area. Which does mean KT Bullets are going to slowly approach this one in towards that river. Fnatic have got themselves started off on that dragon, and it seems that KT Bullets, where they're going to try and sneak in there, Mappa Insect's going to try and stealth in. Has he got enough to smite it? Cyanide, yes he does! He steals it away from Cyanide. He pays the price with his death. No! Wow. He jumps away and gets out of there alive. And now KT Bullets turn the damage back on towards them. Ryu takes no redness. Grand Skyfall coming out, but he's not in the right location. Yellow Star's so low. This is all going so, so wrong. Leopard finally falls. Ryu now is going to be the focus. Can Cyanide get on him? Yes, finishes off for the flash kill. But Becca, he's got, now got Mappa on him. In Insect's going to try and rotate around. Peke is very tanky, but he's taking a hell of a lot of poke. And you can see Insect, he's just biding his time to jump in. Score's going to continue chasing. There's no support at all for Peke. He's not even thrown out a single barrel yet. And he pays the price. And it's another kill for Score. It's an ace, ladies and gentlemen, for KT Bullets. That fight did not go the way Fnatic planned.
absolutely not. It was the worst thing that could have happened for them. They lost the dragon, they lost the fight, and the kills went on to the AD carry now. So another threat they have to deal with in these team fights. And KT Bullet simply came in from two different sides onto Fnatic here. We had Ryu jumping in. He didn't actually get onto his target with the first jump, but he just stayed there. And Fnatic, they split up with their DPS once they actually knocked Insect away, so he managed to survive, and he simply didn't know which target to go for. And the very squishy build from Renekton here, he did get onto Ryo, but he didn't have enough damage, and he ended up dying. And the other worrying thing was that this Karma there that was four levels lower than XPK was able to chase him this entire time through the jungle. Obviously, having that slow up pretty much constantly always helps out to able allow them to finish off and get themselves that ace. We are seeing a couple more items coming down. Spectre's cowls uh, starting to be picked up. We saw one for Soas. He needs to get a bit tankier now for that survivability. And also on the other side for score. And surprise, surprise, Negatron's cloak being picked up by all of the night. They suddenly realize, you know yeah. what? That LeBlanc, he can do some damage to us and took down that obviously reckless in pretty much instant style. But notice what Ryo did early on. His second item was actually the Void Stuff because he knew there would be a lot of magic resist onto Fnatic's side here. So he decided to get early magic penetration. That's why he's having so much damage as well. And the penetration continues even through the supports. He said it earlier, Mafa likes to build that bit more penetration so that he can do some good damage as the Karma. Right now, he's doing damage to wards. Pink ward up there by the Baron, and we are going to see the man drop cancelled out there. And Fnatic aren't able to chase onto the Karma support. I feel that Fnatic are chasing shadows right now. They seem to constantly be trying to go for Mafa. He just dashes him, speeds himself away from that one. No issues whatsoever. They're trying to create a pick, they're trying to find something where they just seem a little bit haphazard and lost into what exactly they should be doing. Shot calling may be gone a little bit astray from Fnatic now. They have to try and regain some of the vision control on the map here. Look at all the wards from KT Bullets around this Baron area. It simply also means for them, if they get a few kills now on picks, they can rotate towards the Baron, and it's going to be very hard for Fnatic to try and stop them. So it's a big issue. There is the blue buff taken for the KT Bullets. Fnatic are actually moving up towards this top side of the map. So are they going to try and put some pressure down onto that inner turret? You can see that the KT Bullets not really close to it. In fact, Insect was all the way over on Fnatic's blue side of the jungle. Cyanide also just hanging around by Baron, trying to get some control of that. Way. But with Ryu's presence there, they don't want to hang around too long. But they, it looks like they are. They are going to take this turret with them. A very good rotation, actually getting the turret while the rest of KT Bulls were out of position. But they're chasing this one. They want to fight. They could dive on Pekka, and that's what they're going to do. They caught him out of the explosive cast, but Inset's going to come around the side once again. Stealth up, jumping straight for Pekka, gets on the claws, doesn't get the reset. He does manage to get away just about. So as goes Yuto. Yellow Star does manage to finish off the kill with the Ignite. Oh, but there's a go. Score gets himself the kill on towards Soez. It's a trade one for one, but they got the tower. What will Score do? He's going to go on towards Reckless. We do see the rest of Fnatic there. Almost, almost went headlong into a stun. And we actually saw the power of on the hunt for Fnatic here. After they took the turret, they tried to disengage. But due to the fact that some members from KT Bulls could come around the flank of them, Insect jumping in, they finally got to kill him, but he still stalled the rest of the team to stop. And then the rest of KT Bulls could catch up, get a kill onto Source, and at least trade one for one. But there was a tower for Fnatic. We need to remember that. Power in there for them. Fnatic, though, sit. 3,000 gold behind the KT Bullets here. And let's not forget, best of five. They have a 1-2-0 lead up until now. Winning this one will put them on championship point. Absolutely, and that's not what Fnatic want. If they go 2-0 down, you've got to think how that's going to affect their confidence, what it's going to do getting in their heads, because game one, they really did look in it, and really it was only a simple, small misplay that just led KT Bullets straight into that game. And once you give a Korean team generally the lead, they, they don't tend to give it back to you. They will take it in full force. At the moment, though, KT Bullets, again, are in the lead. They have that 3,000 gold lead. More importantly, they have the vision control. They have the tower pressure. And Fnatic seemingly are playing a little alpha here. And the Insect, he's off again. He's going to be jumping straight on towards Cyanide. Is he going to be able to get out? No. Stunned up, locked up, dead. And it's not over yet, they're actually chasing on towards Soaz. They did see the reset coming in, there is Score. He is now unstoppable at 8-3-4. And KT Bullets, once again, they get the vision control inside the jungle of Fnatic and they simply just punish them whenever they see the chance. They can start this Baron, but the rest of Fnatic have actually pushed down this mid lane. 
Well, they're gonna take the tower. They've took a couple of hits, but this is gonna be a barrel possibly for KT Bullets. And they're happy to trade that. And Fnatic is suddenly wondering, why are we not being chased? What is happening? Oh, this is all going wrong. They're rotating for Dragon, which is all well and good, but it's going to be the Baron nonetheless for Bullets and maybe the top turret. Fnatic knew the Baron was gone, that's why they decided to just take a mid turret and get something. No reason for them to at least try and fight here with only three members, because KT Bullets didn't even invest too much in the two kills they had. So wise enough by Fnatic, getting at least some goal out of this. But with the Baron buff onto KT Bullets, with all the vision control here, we, we, we're going to see them do what they did last game. Try and go in the jungle again, wait for Fnatic to move, but they can't really siege because, again, wave clear on Gragas, wave clear on Sivir, making it very hard for them to actually get the turrets down if Fnatic are there to defend. So where, how can Fnatic turn this one around? Like you said, the, the siege power not really there for the bullets. Is that then the only solution for Fnatic is to sit back and basically turtle up inside the base until they can take a fight? They have to turtle for now and simply wait for KT Bullets to move up. If KT Bullets decide to dive them, that's where they can try and turn around. Or if Ryu here is being too aggressive, sure. seems not. I mean, so this, this is exactly what happened in game one. Exactly. Fnatic completely getting picked off. KT Bullets take a big advantage from it. Generally, it's Insect that finds the, finds the problem. They, again, they, they have no vision because KT Bullets are taking that all up from them. They keep wandering a little bit wildly in towards that jungle. Peke is going to take in a lot of damage there. He's forced away. This may even be an inhibitor turret push now for KT Bullets. And Skull's not even having a problem with that one. They're going to go straight down towards this bottom lane where the minions are already decently pushed up for them. We can see Fnatic scared even to get close to the wall in case Ryu does decide to just jump over and blow them up. And we actually have to question the fact there was four sweeping lenses onto Fnatic. It meant they had less walls to work with on the map and the fact they could never really get the advantage to get inside the jungle of KT Bulls and clear away the vision and put their vision in simply meant they didn't use the sweeping lenses for anything. Sneaky play with the wards there. They put a pink and a blue down. So they went for the pink wall, which they could see, and then completely didn't realize there's a blue there, and they managed to get it in there. Inhibitor is going to go down. Grand Skyfall coming out. Is it enough? The tower still stands. Score manages to get his, the, his ultimate off across all of Yellowstar. Yellowstar going down, and now the rest of KT Bullets push on in towards it. Insect continuing to cause problems. Jumps in, takes the damage, takes the initial burst. Well, it gives Score all that time to get himself a kill. Does not quite get Cyanide down, but it's an inhibitor nonetheless. Less, and KT Bullets are looking so, so strong to take game two. They're simply using this combo so perfectly every single time. Once there's an engage for Fnatic, they step back away from the turret and then they just turn it around when Fnatic overextends, takes a kill onto Annie, takes the turret, and then inhibits are now on Cyanide. Uh -oh. Yeah, he's dead. He's Not dead. gonna get away from that one. That's a godlike score now. 10 3 4 as Ryu is starting to move forward as well. Insect jumps over the wall. Reckless was there off to the side, but this is the second inhibitor turret going down, and in all probability, the second inhibitor itself will fall as Ryu does go into Reckless. Spell shielded most of their damage, though. And now with double inhibitor down, it really is hard for Fnatic. They still need to believe there's actually a chance of coming back because KT Bullets. They are, we have seen them in the past, making misplays, giving the other team a chance to come back. We saw it with Gambit yesterday. Everyone thought the game was over, but Gambit managed to come back. Fnatic, they need to keep believing here. If they can catch out a member from KT Bulls, instantly burst them down. Insect can be too greedy. Jumping in the face, he dies. And maybe they can turn the fight with On The Hunt and of course the Talisman and chase down KT Bullets. Sneaky plays continue, Insect. He has a knack of getting into those positions, flanking around the side. If he was an FPS player, he'd be in great positions every time, picking up multiple kills, because he manages to get around the back of Fnatic every single time they manage to move for that fight. He goes unseen the entire time, which ironically is the passive of Insect. So at the moment, KT Bullets, I don't see what Fnatic are going to do. Certainly in this game, they need to start thinking of the next game, maybe using this time. You talked about how they have made misplays before, but I gotta argue that was really about pushing for the Baron and Gambit themselves said they decided they're just gonna do anything in their power to push on towards that. Fnatic, they seem a little bit passive right now, a little bit pensive, and they don't seem to be going all in. They're just a little unsure of themselves when they have an engagement.
And right now we see the bullets moving forward. Are they going to face check? Yes, they are. They're going to walk straight towards Soaz. And Reckless, they use on the hunt, but to Orbly back oh. away. Soaz is going to get chased down here. The culling went off to the front. There is Soaz flashing over the wall, but Leopard gets the kill. Yellow Star stunned. Another one for score. They tried to create an opportunity, and it's backfired, and that almost certainly is the game. KT Bullets are just going to run on through the middle. They've got Super Minions with them. Inset's going to tank up. He's already got that Ranian's Omen on him, so he's not too worried about that one. That's going to pass it off to the Super Minions and score, and the rest of the team will come in and take down these Nexus turrets. Grand Skyfall coming out, but really not going to do a lot. They're just going to turn and burn straight on towards Cyanide. Oh, look at the damage on towards Reckless. The Ignite taken. They don't even worry. They want to get some kills. They want to have some fun. The Nexus will go down, and the KT Bullets are one game away from victory in the Intel Extreme Masters World Championship. KT Bullets simply managed to avoid falling behind early on to this very aggressive combo from Fnatic. They kept perfect vision control throughout the game so they could always catch out members from Fnatic, extending the game, getting into the late game part where they really shined and they just played so well. The vision control game won for KT Bullets, weren't the best, but today or this game, they really stepped it up. And you can see a look.